If you're low income, you may be eligible for grants and assistance programs that you've never even heard of before. We found tons of programs that may be able to help you. Of course, I wouldn't blame you for thinking that this is too good to be true. After all, scams are everywhere, right? That's why I spend so much time on research. All of the information we present at Low Income Relief is fact-checked and verified. I know there are a lot of scammers out there, but we do our best to make sure that we are only sharing information that is factual, reliable, and actually helpful. So if you like accurate and honest resources, be sure to subscribe to our channel. So without further ado, let's go over seven ways that you can get low income grants and assistance. First, modest needs. This is one of my favorite go-to resources. Modest Needs provides short-term financial assistance to people who are dealing with temporary emergencies like unexpected car repairs, medical bills, or sickness. Modest Needs understands that most working people are just one or two missed paychecks away from utter financial catastrophe. So they do their best to help when they can. Grants from Modest Needs have no strings attached and they never have to be repaid. You never have to pay a fee to apply either. Their only request is that you say thank you to the donors who made it possible for you to receive the help that you needed. Modest Needs can help you with many different expenses. Usually they help when there's an unexpected emergency or extenuating circumstance. These could include things like emergency car repairs, medical bills, major appliance replacements, tools or uniforms so that you can start a new job, funeral costs for a family member, that sort of thing. They cannot assist you with legal fees, tax payments, child support payments, groceries, gas, payday loan payments, or credit card debt. So how do you get help from Modest Needs? It's actually very easy. You'll need to register an account on their website, click the apply for help now button and complete the application. It's easy and free to register. In fact, it takes less than five minutes and the application takes about another 20 minutes to complete. Modest Needs will vet your application and make sure that you're eligible for assistance. If you are eligible, then you will enter the donor review period. According to Modest Needs, applications can be fully funded within 10 to 14 days, but there are a variety of factors that influence how long it can take and some applications may expire before they're funded. I know it's a little complicated, but I absolutely think Modest Needs is one of the best resources for low-income families. Although we don't provide grants directly at Low Income Relief, we do support Modest Needs with a monthly donation. Second, NetWish. NetWish is a little interesting. This site was funded by a wealthy Philadelphia businessman who anonymously blesses low-income families across America. In order to keep you safe from scams, NetWish will never call you and never ask for bank details. If they decide to fulfill your wish, they will mail you prepaid debit cards and gift cards through regular snail mail. They do not offer direct deposits, and again, this is to keep your bank information safe. To make a NetWish, you must go to netwish.org and fill out a basic form. You'll need to submit your name, email address, street address, and explain your wish. You should be very specific about why you need assistance, clearly explaining what you need and why. Of course, they receive far more wishes than they can possibly fill, but they do their best. To give yourself the best chance of getting your net wish filled, be sure to check out our other video on GoFundMe tips for advice on how to craft a compelling story for your application. I know that net wish isn't the same thing as GoFundMe, but some of those basic storytelling principles still apply and can still make your application pop out compared to other applications that they may be considering. Third, guaranteed income programs are a great way to get consistent cash grants to help you with your financial hardships. There are currently over 50 guaranteed income pilots happening all over the United States. Some programs are contributing $500 per month to eligible participants. Others send $1,000, some even more than that. It just really depends on what your local program is doing, and that's why it's so complicated. Each of these programs has their own eligibility criteria and application instructions. You can check out our other videos for details or get the full list at lowincomerelief.com. Fourth, the Gradient Gives Back Foundation is a nonprofit that helps people across America pay their mortgage or lease payments when they're struggling financially. This organization is based in Minnesota, but has helped people in many different areas, including Arizona, Arkansas, Colorado, Florida, Georgia, Illinois, Kansas, Maryland, Michigan, Minnesota, Nebraska, New Jersey, Ohio, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Washington, and Wisconsin. The organization has been featured in nationwide news outlets, including ABC News Now and Fox News Channel, so I think they're fairly trustworthy. 
In order to apply for assistance, you'll need to go to gradientgivesback.com slash apply. Fifth, Healthy Well Foundation may be able to help you when your health insurance is not enough to cover your medical costs. In order to be eligible, you must have an income that is below 400% of the federal poverty level. You must have some form of insurance, even if it's Medicare or Medicaid, and you must be being treated in the United States for a disease that they currently cover. They have a long list of eligible diseases on their website. At the time this video was created, there were 26 eligible diagnoses. If you are eligible, you can apply for assistance at healthwellfoundation.org slash patients slash apply. Sixth, there are many programs that offer homebuyer grants to low-income homebuyers. These grant programs are offered by community organizations, banks, and other sources. And there are simply too many to list in this video. They're everywhere. If I tried to tell you all of them right now, we'd be here all day. So I'll just talk about a few. The Homeownership Across Texas, or HAT grant, is available to low-income residents in Texas. The grant can cover up to 5% of the amount of your mortgage loan, and the HAT grant never has to be repaid. In New York City, the Home First Down Payment Assistance Program can provide up to $100,000 toward the down payment or closing costs on a home, condo, or co-op in New York City. Of course, there's more information about that on the nyc.gov website. There are programs like this in every state. So if you have a dream of someday owning your own home, be sure to check them out. We have a full list of these home buyer assistance grants at lowincomerelief.com. Of course, there are many other grant programs that offer assistance with very specific needs. We found grants that can help you with housing, food, utilities, healthcare costs, dental costs, transportation, and so much more. You can browse our other videos or visit lowincomerelief.com for more information about those specific programs. Oh, and if you have EBT, make sure you're using the Providers app. During the height of the COVID crisis, providers partnered with Give Directly to issue $1,000 payments to as many of their users as possible. They helped nearly 200,000 households through their partnership before it ended in October 2021. And although that program has ended, it's just further proof that the people over at Providers genuinely care about those they serve. Since their app is genuinely useful to people with SNAP EBT benefits, I strongly recommend that you install it and start using it today. After all, you never know what's going to happen in the future. Don't forget to check out our other video on hardship grants. I'll see you there.